Um, would you consider yourself a classically trained musician? On piano, but I just didn't keep the chops up. But yeah, absolutely. When did you take lessons, though? From 5 to 12 years old. Bro, I was reading... I was reading music, playing complicated shit in both hands. I was really? Pretty, yeah, I was good. I did piano recitals and shit. No, you didn't. I did. I knew you when you were 12. You didn't do any of that. You didn't know me when I was 12. Yes, I, I met you when you were 12. Yeah, which was right after I stopped piano lessons. Where'd you do a recital? At my piano teacher's house and shit. Like, they would, she would have like 30 students, mm. and then everybody would... They'd like, you know, either go to somebody else's house or it would be at her house and they'd invite all the parents and you'd have like a recital and you'd play in front of like, you know, 40 to 60 people, something like that. I never had a recital. I never, I mean, I never played. You're too quiet. Uh, Hello, am I? You just talk weird. Um, I talk weird. I just yeah. turned you up, so just be careful. Uh, yeah, I never had a recital. I never learned. I never took any piano lessons. But I still kind of consider myself relatively classically trained in music as a whole and like vocals just because of like our music programs in school. Like, yeah, I mean, and then I did music theory all throughout school and I was in band. So, yeah, I'd say especially like when it comes to like reading and theory. Absolutely. I can't read fucking shit music. Yeah. I can't. I, well, I can read rhythm because I was in like drum line and stuff like that. But I, I could I can't. I played trumpet for like one year, but I can't read. Um, I can't read music, but that's okay. You don't need to know how to read music to be a musician. You don't, not at all. But yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm trying to learn Chopin. Um, and then I made a playlist of all the songs I want to learn on piano. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll read them out loud. <coughs> it's the my playlist is called piano songs I want to learn. Number one. Roses no by Outcast. <laughs> <laughs> Nocturne, whatever, nine, part two. This one. Okay, don't want to get a copyright strike. That's the one that I want to learn. This one, Christmas Time is Here, Charlie Brown. Oh, by yeah. Vincent something or trio, this guy. Yeah, classic. Right? It's classic. Um,. And then I have two on here. One of them, I want to learn. Uh, You've got a friend in me. Like, you got a friend. Is that a in piano me? song? I don't it's even know not, what the piano sounds like. It's not. But you just want to sing it and but play I was piano. Like, that I want to learn the OG version. But I was also like, that would be like a hard, like smooth jazz. I'll have to like rework it and add some flat thirteens and. <laughs> Shit yeah. in there, whatever the fuck, sure. whatever the fuck you jazz piano players do, and just sounds and like, good to me. It'd be like a really cool, like smooth jazz song, don't you think? Yeah, it yeah. would. Yeah, I so like I'm gonna try idea. to do that. So that's my That'd new goal. Cool. Is I'm gonna play a little bit of piano every day. I'll let you know how it goes. Probably not gonna go. I'll probably lose interest in like three weeks. But hey, nice. That's how I do it. Go well, hard for like two, three weeks, and then move on to the next thing. My mommy got me Bach Preludes for Christmas, the book. Yeah. So I'm going to play through that, I think. Get myself a little music stand. Do that. You're going to start practicing? Like regularly? Like daily? or I wouldn't call it... I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice those songs when I feel like it. I wouldn't say I'm going to have like a strict thing Why with it. Why don't you do that? Because I didn't have a y Yamaha CP70 in my room. But now that you do, what don't... Do you, don't you think it would like benefit you? I think it's going to be more of a form of med meditation for me. It's like learning and practicing those songs. I'm okay. not going to have like a strict regime with it. Yeah, but why don't you have a practice regimen? I don't know. Do you think I do practice things, just not like you think you've mastered it. You don't need to. You you're better than everybody. No, I just I don't know. Don't feel like it. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no one feels like practicing. Yeah, I just I don't know. I'm like, come I on, guess bro. I'm you remember? You remember? Okay. I know it's. I know it's great. I just I am so focused in like a writing. Why don't you I practice guess, writing? Stage. I do all the time. I'm writing all the time. No, no, no but you're writing stuff. Why don't you like practice writing? Like, oh, I'm gonna write like 
Like I was doing this exercise the other day. Where I just wrote a bass line and I was like, okay, just write a melody oh, over top. I like, thought you meant practice writing lyrics. No, 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 no. Music writing. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Good question. You heard it here first. Carl doesn't need to practice is what he's saying. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. Um, How much do you think band shaped you as a musician? Like school band? Well... Not a lot, to be honest. Really? Just, I think it just made me like playing instruments. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I played sax for most of the time that I was playing music growing up. And I really loved it. But it, everything had a completely different vibe, which made it feel like a completely different part of my, like my identity and brain. Like, when we would play music together it didn't feel like I was doing the same thing as like playing tenor sax in band, which yeah. also didn't feel the same as like jazz band. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and for a long time, those all meant different instruments. Like specifically in high school, I would have like concert band or symphonic band, or I was playing sax and then I would have guitar, which I was doing jazz band for. And then I had Olympic formal, and I was playing piano, and it was literally like three totally different activities. Like, yeah. it wasn't it didn't even feel like, oh, all of this is just me playing music. It was like the mood and emotion behind it was completely different. And you know, yeah, I mean, I didn't really like symphonic band, which is like, if you don't know what that is, that's like that's your classic school band, right? Fucking like classical music or like contemporary classical style music right full orchestra stuff but without minus strings um i played percussion in that for a little bit i played all through middle school but i didn't really do that in high school Qui high school was more choir for me but i did drum line but it was all drumming but yeah i i would say that i think for me i do think that the music programs we had at our school definitely shaped who I am just because like you said like it kind of sparked that like I made all my friends through band yeah like all of us were in middle school hanging out in the band room during fucking study hall so if I didn't have that that was sick for yeah. sure like yeah I'm not saying maybe maybe not like the songs that we played or like what it meant to sit down and learn a piece of music, but the culture of like being in band class really in our specific band class, our specific music program. Yeah. It, really, it definitely shaped my interest. Definitely, I think there was a huge emphasis too on just looking up to like the people that were really good in, in the uh, like upperclassmen, yeah. the kids that were older than us that were really good. And that would inspire you to keep going and keep, wanting to do it just for anybody who but. needs a little bit of context here basically our school our school we was um we didn't have like a good, great sports program like our football team fucking sucked <laughs> like they were ass they used to be good in like the fucking 80s or some shit like that we had some good sports but like we had a lot of kids like in choir and stuff like that. And it wasn't, I feel like in a lot of schools, it's like the classic cliche, like the band kids are like nerds and like you don't do choir unless you're a dork or something like that. There was like kids who would like go from choir practice to football practice. Like I had, we had people in choir who would do that. So it was, yeah. it was super normal to do music in our school. And there was this group of kids above us uh, that, were like really really good and they were in jazz band and our jazz band in high school i wasn't in jazz band because i couldn't play drums well enough at the time actually i don't know i never tried out maybe maybe you were a killer bro I was a you would have fucking savage. you would have taken it you would have taken first chair from anybody bro if you yeah. just tried out yeah what was was Josh's last No, I'm not going to say his last name. Watch out, Josh. I'm coming for you. Yeah, and Noah. Yeah, and Noah. Fuck yeah, you, I'm Noah. I'm coming for your spot, Noah. <laughs> mm. But, like, our jazz band, were they... We You guys got, like, awards and stuff, right? Yeah. 
Or remember quad- one time it was my birthday and we had a uh, district jazz competition and I won best solo, but I had le- I left. <laughs> I was like, it's my birthday. I'm going home to eat dinner with my mom. Fuck this. And I had Jake take me home. Mm-hmm. And then I won best solo and Mr. Delson had to go up and accept it for me. And I got reamed out the next day in school. Really? He's like, why the fuck did you leave district jazz? You fuck. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I was, I wanted, Shout cake. Out Mr. I wanted cake. And then, uh, like our choir was really like really well known. Like we would sing at the white house and stuff like that, which like a lot of people sing at the white yeah. house, but like the choir was legit. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so we had just we had a really cool, awesome fucking music program, and uh, it was really fun. Yeah, and it, it just it there was a, always so many kids doing it yeah. too, and I think because of that is kind of what makes it really good is because there's a lot of interest in it, so like they have more uh, support and mm-hmm. money and things like that.